my channel everyone it's Sunny at 615 and I am back with another which will be a quick video because I need to make a mad dash um, this is what my bag looks like today this is what it looks like after a week of travel and I love this bag I love the color this is the Robert Pieri um, what is the name of this bag? Um, it is the Tatami. Tommy. Uh, Tatami. That's the print. It is in the color taupe. But it does not leave any room for me to grow throughout the course of the week. And what I mean by that is if I stop in Sephora and pick up anything, if I add you know, a fan, my readers as, you know, receipts and on the weekend as I pick up stuff, when I'm adding in masks and wipes and full size wipes, it just, it doesn't leave any room for me to grow throughout the course of the week. And that's something that I really, really like about a tote. The other thing is um, I usually travel with like a shawl or some kind of jacket or something. I just never know when I'm going to be in a place, in a room, in a meeting, and it's just going to be too chilly. I And even though this is like a really thin zip pullover, there was not enough room for me to even tuck this in my bag over the course of the last two weeks. So because of that, and I was not sure, I definitely wanted this color. I love this. I will continue to use this bag but it is likely going to be like a weekend or maybe even a personal travel like bag when I by car. But I just, it's not going to work for me for all of the stuff that I need during the course of the week for work. And I love this because it went perfectly with everything. Um, I could tell people were watching. Someone even asked me what brand of bag it was because it doesn't scream a particular brand. But I love the fact, I also love the fact that it's lightweight because I have a pretty hefty carry. And it helps that the bag starts out lightweight. But I need something that I can grow into throughout the course of the week and then just clean out. So... I decided to take another stab at it. And yes, that is another Robert, Roberta Pieri bag. And this one is in the ruby or rabine color, which is red. Same bag, but this is the Big Mama. And you know how I feel about a Big Mama bag. So I am going to take everything that I have in the smaller tatami tote and put it in this one. And then I've got to make the mad dash. Um, it, I also decided, and I'm going to give you a, a closer look, but I also decided to pick up some lightweight matching accessories so that... It would help alleviate some of the weight of maybe some of the um, leather pieces that I have. So I picked up both the cosmetic case and the vanity. This is the cosmetic. So it can, you know, you can add a wristlet strap if you want to. Or attach it to the inside of the bag on the key leash. Um, there is the interior. It does have... A slip pocket from an organization standpoint and that's it it is lined and completed on the interior just like the bag zipper pull it does have a little bit of a small mouth opening but again um, if I'm trying to get roller balls in here I'm sure I can get quite a few roller balls pins um, my lip conditioner, my overnight lip mask. I'm sure that just that it did not work. But it will all work in this little vanity pack. I mean, this is the cosmetic. I'm sorry. This is the cosmetic. And it does have the Roberta Pieri um, leather tag 
on the side, it says Roberta Pieri. On the front and on the back, it says Made in Italy. And there is the bottom so that you can see that a little closer. And then this is the vanity case, which is like a jumbo catch-all. Same thing, Roberta Pieri here on the side. Made in Italy <laughs> on the back. So all of these are were um, shipped out of Italy. And then from an interior standpoint, the vanity case is a little bit bigger. Still has a slip. So if I wanted to consolidate or maybe I wanted to use part of it for receipts or maybe this is where I keep my mask or maybe this is where um, I keep um, I, my eye patches if I'm going to do those on the plane or something like that. It's easy. And then plenty of space there in the interior. And it is also uh, suede lined. The bottom is just like the bags. And it is reinforced. So let's take a closer look at this bag. I know I'm running, but I literally have got to get ready to head out to the airport. Um, this is the Tutami pattern up close. The ruby or rubin, the red, y'all know red is my jam. I wanted the taupe. I would have gotten the taupe in the size if they had it available, but they did not. So uh, red it is. It is the exact same setup. The shoulder drop as it is right now is short. But if you recall watching uh, the original bag, once I got my items in here, the nylon actually relaxed enough that it actually gave me a perfect shoulder drop. So I've not had any issues with that bag um, with the shoulder drop. And here is the interior again. So you've got the zipper pocket, two slips, lined in suede, bottom is reinforced, leather key keeper. And... It is just the big bag. I did also with the um, with this other one, with this one, the one I'm I've been carrying. I also um, struggled just a little bit with not being able to easily get things in and out of my bag. I felt like I had to take everything out in order to get to like my wallet. If I had like readers on the top, I feel like I just had to take so many things out in order to get to the um, things that were in the bottom of my bag. You know, I've got vitamin supplements, headphones, um, even the pocket with my keys. I really, I just, I, I need a lot of stuff when I am away from home and have a system for keeping up with things and organizing and I love that bag I and I will continue to use it but I needed something else so here we go with the um, Janine and I'm gonna put everything that's in Janine in the vanity pack so I've got a uh, manicure set, I've got paper soap, dental picks, alcohol wipes, a uh, business card. I'm going to stick all of that back in here. I have uh, Pat McGrath, Sol de Janeiro lip products. I'm going to drop those in here. I have my hand cream, another two roller balls of perfume. I actually think what I'm going to do is take these three out of here. I may not need that for this one. And do that. I've got some breath spray, brow pencil, my Flonase allergy meds. I've got my Smile Actives pen dental floss, my Laneige lip mask. Yeah, make sure that's not empty. And then I have a mirror. So that is all 
going in the vanity pack. It gives me a little bit more room to move around, move things around, as opposed to this one being very structured as well. So I'm gonna throw that there on the side. I'm gonna see if there's anything else. I know I'm not having hot flashes yet, but I'm gonna take this fan because last week at the airport, I don't know whether the air was out or whether it was because I was running late and ended up, you know, missing my flight and all that other stuff. I don't know, but I was hot and sweaty. So I am definitely, uh, that's my work bag I'm putting in. Uh, my nail treatment, I'm actually gonna take it out of the box since it's a new one i'm gonna just stick it in the vanity pack i'm gonna do that i've got more supplements i've got a poopery spray i'm gonna stick that in the pocket taking out it says viola bag oh that's the little drawstring one i'll look at that later i've got supplements My tech, you know what? I could probably put tech in my cosmetic, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm going to leave that there. I've got receipts flying everywhere. My work phone, I'm going to just drop it in here. That was, oh my goodness, last week trying to find a phone in my bag. It was crazy. I'm going to put another mask in here and then i have some in a box in the trunk of my vehicle i'll also grab a few of those when i get ready to get out at the airport and i get out my luggage i keep them back there so that they're top of mind so that i have one going into the airport and these are like for during the course of the week and then i have my smile actives um white teeth whitening device my thero works oh this is already look at that i feel like i already have more room all right i've got my luna spray i've got some wet ones for hands on the plane and just throughout the course of the week and now I, everything's just dumping in here i'm not even worried about organizing it i've got um a hand literally a stack of oh I guess I need let me put these I've got wipes another pack of wipes because I will use like a pack and a half of wipes uh, between the airport the plane and then wiping down the hotel room when I get there and then once everything's wiped down I can open my luggage and then get out the microban or the Lysol whichever is in my bag at the time um this is some mail that got wet with the wipes it's a book on breast cancer awareness month um like little um gifts or whatever and i was looking through those to find some stuff for uh, my team at work this is only has a couple more wipes i'm gonna throw that in there yeah because the zombie apocalypse is back outside and then i have a ton of gift cards that's how um they come from work so i've got those and I'll keep them with me. Let's see what else. I have my solar powered uh, battery charger for my phone. Gum, all of that will go in there. Placards. Keys. I'll go ahead and attach these. get my jacket off of here I've got my meds for the week already packed not to be confused with the other supplements those are one's night 
medications or night supplements for me are in the morning. Um, my coin pouch. Headphones for the plane last week. My headphones for my personal phone. Socks for going through security. Brow pencil and my lip mask. I'm going to throw those in the vanity pouch. And mascara and hand lotion. I'm going to throw all of that in here. There, it still has a little bit of room left in there. I'm going to take the placards and stick them in here with my work badge, gum in the zipper pouch, phone charger, I'm just toss tossing that in, uh, hotel key from last week that I didn't turn in, hand sanitizer, I'm going to put it in the, you know what, let me switch this. I'm gonna put the hand sanitizer in the outside pocket. I'm gonna put the poopery in the zipper pocket because I will reach for the sanitizer more than the poopery. And let's see. Uh, for some reason I have keys that came off. Boarding pass from one of the flights last week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, another lippy, another smile actors pen. I will leave this one here since I already have one. At some point I ended up with two. What else is this? That's the all right. My jacket. Let me get these um, keys reattached. That's another gift card. And all of that here. Um, I think I know what happened with the keys. I do. This is what happened. The vanity valet, I'm sorry, open. That goes there. And that keeps that key separated from all the others. If I can get it on there. All right, so that took care of the keys. Back on the hook. All right, I'm going to just toss this vanity pack in here on its side. Ooh. I know some of you are like, she should have just stayed in the, mm-mm. I need room to move around and to add stuff and to take stuff out. And I didn't have that in here. Now my jacket. Everything now fits. So let me, I should have probably changed my wallet. I don't have time for that today. So let's see about this shoulder drop. Bam. Yep. So I am ready to go. I know the handbag hauler does like the morning rush. Uh, this is going to be an airport rush because that's exactly what is going on. So I'm not using the cosmetic. I'm using the vanity because it allowed for me to put a few extra things in, consolidate, keep everything together. It slides nicely down um, on the side. I guess I'll show you what the chaos looks like since it's literally rushed. But that is the interior you can see the vanity case here on the side just slides in top bottom north south jacket rolled up here on the top for easy access and then hand sanitizer poopery so there's the sanitizer poopery 
keys to the car, gum, all of that is accessible um, from the zipper pocket. Um, am I gonna zip that? Yeah, I guess I'll zip. I'll zip the pocket. Still leaves the hand sanitizer on the outside. My work badge and my placards. So if I eat anything at the airport, if I need those. Headphones right here in the top. I'm actually filming right now on my phone instead of my iPad so that I have this footage to edit and then upload. Work phones in here. Plenty of wipes and everything else that I need in order to get through the day. So that is the swap out um, from the large, uh, this is the large Tutami in the color taupe and I just upgraded and switched to the color red. Same bag features, it just has quite a bit more room. So this is going to be my travel bag for uh, the next couple of weeks. I want to see how I settle in, see how it carries. It is raining here in Georgia. It's raining where I'm going. It's supposed to rain all week. So this bag being weatherproof, waterproof, I think it's going to make for a great carry. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up. Share this video with someone that uh, may be interested in the um, Tutami or Roberta Pieri line in general because there just are not a ton of videos out on YouTube. So as I expand my collection and develop my thoughts on um, this carry, hopefully it will slowly build a library of reference for other bag enthusiasts that are interested in you know venturing into the brand so this is it i'm excited i feel much better um bag doesn't weigh any differently it was already heavy with everything that i had in it but i got to a point where i couldn't zip it everything was stacked on top of each other so i felt like i was having to tetris things in having to take everything out in order to get my things out for some of you this large will probably be more than sufficient but your girl has a different bag need so uh thank you so very much for watching uh please be sure to again hit the thumbs up if you're not subscribed i kindly ask that you do so, especially if you come back often to check out videos or to watch replays of lives or even when you're doing research on a bag, if it ever crosses your mind like, wait, let me check and see if Duty Addict 615 has a video and you're not subscribed, like it just doesn't make sense to me. Please consider subscribing, becoming part of the tribe. I would love to have you here. For all of my returning subscribers, for all of my tribe sisters, thank you so very much for uh, taking this wild and crazy bag journey with me week after week after week. It means the world to me and so do you. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.